So what's going on everyone, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and today Call of Duty have given us a brand new trailer for the Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC, and this is with the return of the Replacer trailers. Now, every year when a DLC comes out, there's always a huge, huge push on delivering a really funny DLC trailer, and for Black Ops 2, Activision went for a thing called the Replacer, who was a guy who would actually replace and do your normal boring stuff for you, whilst you were going ahead and playing Call of Duty and getting your hands on the DLC. They've brought us a brand new trailer which is absolutely hilarious and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can see that but at the end of it we get a huge portion of gameplay from all four of the multiplayer maps and a little bit of the zombies. Now I'm going to show you the multiplayer and the zombies as well and then afterwards we're going to go and look over the zombie section frame by frame to see what we can pick out. There isn't a lot that's new in this but there is a fair amount of stuff that we've not seen before certain areas and some other things that I know noticed in this short snippet of gameplay so I'm going to jump straight into the footage and then I'll be right back. So in total, we only got around about 15 seconds of Zombies gameplay, a lot of mashed up clips, but we're going to go and look back at this and break it down frame by frame. So we get our first shot of Zombies, and we get this like really, really freaky looking zombie very close up to the screen in this very dark room. We're not sure where exactly this is in the map. It could be perhaps at the start, because we can see what looks like the background of the mountains behind. It is very, very hard to tell though. Now this next shot is really... Really cool as we see a group of zombies making their way past the camera we can see a little crack in the wall where you can see outside into the abyss and we can see what looks like written on the side of the wall we can see a little sign which I think says the word trophy but I can't really tell I can definitely see an R an O and a Y we have some candles underneath that and on the left hand side we have what looks like some very small item being held up with chains which to me has a symbol which resembles the trailer we got the other day for the eyes and drag when we first zoom into the map we have this huge kind of like wolf looking symbol that we fly through it looks very similar to that but I noticed something on the, the zombie uniform which is really really interesting now the zombies that we see in the giant and in this map are very similar if not probably the exact same zombie models but they are wearing different uniform and this zombie actually has a group 935 patch on its uniform now I don't remember seeing that in the giant and this is quite big in terms of story because perhaps a load of members of group 935 were working at this castle facility and the element 115 was discovered and that's what turned that group into zombies so perhaps there is a lot of work that group 935 were doing here which has been abandoned and we will discover when we go and play this map now in one of the frames we get a very clear look at the gravity spikes which we saw in a previous trailer and 
to me it looks like someone else besides the character we saw in that trailer is now wielding them and we can get a slightly better look because the original shots were really really dark not too sure if this is a specialist weapon it is something from multiplayer not sure if it's going to be a weapon in its own right or if we're going to unlock it by doing some sort of i don't know some sort of little easter egg which will give us these as a specialist ability only time will tell the next shot we have is a area that we saw in a previous trailer where the actual gate doors of the castle can be used as a trap and will shut and reopen killing anything in its path which is awesome and we see dogs in the midst of these zombies which confirms that the dogs are going to be making a return from the giant and it's actually been a very long time since we've had a map that wasn't a remake actually feature dogs which is quite exciting we'll probably get dog rounds as well as dogs spawning in with zombies just like the classic Doris. we now get another shot of a character using the death machine again we're not sure if this is going to be a weapon that we can get out the mystery box like we could in mob of the dead or if it's going to be returning as a drop either way i'm excited Excited to see the death machine back and hopefully it will be as kick-ass as it always has been now in another shot we have Nikolai Takio and Richtofen stood back to back of course shooting a bunch of zombies and it appears that we're in like the middle area of the map this is the first scene we got from the trailer a few days ago and as we can see on the right there seems to be a weird machine with the group 935's logo on it and a green light which I assume is to activate some form of trap maybe we're not too sure but Nikolai is seeming like he's holding a Razorback SMG we've not had that before in zombies so it's cool that we are seeing some new weapons we're not sure if this is the only new weapon we're getting but we're getting a brand new smg now in this next shot we have just dogs attacking us which again like i said earlier confirms that we're going to be getting only dog rounds as well as dogs with zombie rounds and the player is using a packer punched brekkie and we get to see the camo on the brekkie and it appears to be the same camo as we get in the giant there is no different packer punch design i'm unsure if this is going to be what we actually going to get in the final bit of the map it would be disappointing if there wasn't any new camo designs but but at the moment, we only see from this um, trailer alone that we're getting the same camo. In these last shots, we get a look at the brand new version of the Panzer Soldat that is returning from Origins, which I'm not looking forward to fighting at all. But we see in one shot behind him, we have the doors opening and there seems to be some sort of electrical trap going on there. So we know that can be used as a trap in the kind of courtyard area. But we get a real close look at the Panzer Soldat and you can really see the horrible zombie inside of it then another shot we see a zombie in a very similar place to where the panzer sold out was standing but this zombie is electrocuted and i'm not too sure what exactly has caused this zombie to be electrocuted if it's just the trap that we put on before or if it's something that the panzer sold out can do and to finish off we get an area of the map which we have never seen before in any of the trailers and it seems to be an area that's quite open and seems to have a bridge we're not sure where exactly that bridge is going to lead to but we can see a little kind of blue thing on the ground which I'm assuming is going to be a launch pad as we've seen in the uh previous trailer you could actually traverse around the map on these crazy sort of launch pads which launch you really really far across the map but that is all we've got for this trailer breakdown. I didn't notice anything else, but if you guys notice anything else in these very short, brief snippets of gameplay, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Now, I have a pretty awesome announcement to tell you guys at the end of this video, and it's that I've actually played Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC. I've played the multiplayer maps. I've played the Eyes and Drac, and I'll be able to bring you guys videos of this multiplayer and zombies experience starting tomorrow on my channel i'll be uploading a multiplayer map video tomorrow i'll be then uploading another one on monday and then just before the dlc comes out on tuesday i'll be bringing you guys a gameplay of dirt eyes and drac it's going to be absolutely sick and i can't wait to bring these videos to you and on top of that i'll be announcing a giveaway on my first dlc video coming tomorrow on a chance for you guys to win a black ops 3 juggernaut edition it's very very cool and all the details will be in tomorrow's video so make sure to check that out but if you're new around here make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest awesome black ops 3 videos and i'll catch you on another one very very soon